Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Just finished watching UFC 294, caught the main event, Volk versus Islam. And look, I know a lot of people said win-win for Alexander Volkanovsky going into this fight because he took it on such late notice. And they just kind of went, look, if you win the fight, that's amazing. If you don't win, that's kind of what everybody expected. There is more to this though, in my mind, when you go, okay, I'm taking a fight on short notice, I'm not 100%, and damage is a very real thing. What happens if you get KO'd? And I don't know if a lot of people go about that thought process. They go, oh, you know, he'll recover, but yeah, he'll recover, but you don't know what the long-term damage is gonna be. In the first round of the fight, early on, he was looking good but he has to stay in there at not 100%. You just can't be 100% when you take a fight on 12 days notice. You're not gonna be in that fight mindset. And guess what happened? He takes a high kick. The high kick kind of came up on this, or Islam's a southpaw, so it kind of came up on this sort of choppy angle. And then because Volkanovski had his hand here, it kind of clipped off the hand, but still caught him in the head and rattled him enough that once he ended up on his back, a number of shots to the head was enough for the ref to call it. Am I a fan of short notice fights, people stepping in? No, I'm not because I look at fighter damage. That is my main concern. That's why I would not take one on short notice unless the money was enormous. And yes, in Volkanovski's case, the money was enormous. We heard from his manager that aside from Conor McGregor, he now signed, I believe, a new contract, which will make him the next highest paid fighter after McGregor and probably his heyday when he was getting the most money he ever made. So good for him. Was it worth it? Probably but you still end up going home with a concussion and you know you, you put into question like, oh, are you actually number one pound for pound? And if that's something that you really want, you want to be competing at 100%. So good job from both fighters. Amazing that UFC was able to make this happen, but a lot of people scream, you know, you should be a company man and go out there and you know put yourself on the line. And I go, ah, the UFC is not looking after you when you're done your fight career. You need to look after yourself.